Hi everybody, I hope you've been having a good day or a good evening so far. Um, tonight I'm going to go ahead and do the second vintage book haul video. So I have a few more this time than last time. And this still isn't all of them, so if you want to see more after this, <laughs> just let me know. Um, this is just a Merck Manual 14th edition. So that is just 1982. It's not a big deal. It's just a nice, good copy. So I'm going to keep that. Move that out of the way. This is a first edition Truman Capote book with the cover still on it in cold blood. Um, if you want, I'll show you the. This came with it. It was a. It was a book of the month club thing. Hold on, I'll turn to the cover page, or the copyright page. Okay, there we go. So this one is 1965. So that was a pretty cool find. That was, I think, the only Truman Capote book I came across in the house. Alright. This is also a first edition hardcover copy of Roots by Alex Haley. I don't know how many of y'all watched this on TV when it was first shown, but I did. It was a big deal before cable. <laughs> so let's see. Hmm. Here we go. So, and it still has the dust jacket on it. And of course, it is a very thick book. So it was exciting to see that. This is not any particular big deal, or I don't even know that it's vintage. It's probably 80s or 90s, but still, soap making book. So I thought, yeah, I'll take it home and look at it. I have a few others, and I have not, well, I thought I did one little kind of cheat version of soap one time, but I haven't done any serious soap. Uh, hmm. Here we go, 96. Yeah. Okay, but still, that's cool. I'll have that to look through when, when and if ever I'm ready. Okay, next is this little paperback, which I thought was pretty interesting to find. Uh, the Search for Planet X. If anybody's familiar with that um, topic. This book was printed in 1962, so, uh, looks like a kid drew in it, but there you go, 1962, it's a little paperback, I thought that would be interesting to see what they were talking about back then. I also found a copy, uh, an original copy of the Bobsy Twins, or one of the Bobsy Twins books. So this is the Bobsy Twins at the seashore. And let's see if I can find, yeah, there was a whole bunch of Bobsy Twins books. Let's see when this one was printed. Oh, here we go, 1950. So that's really cool. It still has the dust jacket on it. It's a little bit dirty. I'm clearly gonna need to tend to all of these things. Okay, this one here is, I cannot make it out from here, let's see. Uh, 
Erewhon and Erewhon Revisited by Butler. Probably not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, let me see if anybody phonetically knows how that's pronounced and wants to correct me. Feel free, because I have no idea. Um, let's see. Hmm. Oh, okay, this one's for a, a copyright 1927. 1927. Random house. Hmm. Oh, look. Here we go. The author wishes it to be understood that Erewhon is pronounced as a word of three syllables, all short. Thus, Erewhon. Everyone. All right. Well, there we go. <laughs> and here, this one is Hawthorne's *The House of Seven Gables*. Okay, Hawthorne's *The House of the Seven Gables*. Here's a picture of the author. And this has a this has a copyright of 1931. Okay, this next stack I went ahead and put in order of copyright. <laughs> so I know this top one is copyright 1919, and this is the Aesop for children with pictures by Milo Winter. Take a peek inside. Pictures are really just beautiful in here. Here's the copyright. And just lightly flip through. Look at that. Oh, this is gorgeous. Mm hmm. Okay, so the Aesop for children, and then the next three um, are part of this series called My Travel Ship, and they're all 1920s, I believe 25, 26, and 27 in order. So this one is Little Pictures of Japan. And I'm trying to do the copyright page. some of the images. Okay. And the next one is 1926 and this is Tales Told in Holland. And so it does have a little, this one has a little bit of damage to the inside paper, but whatever. Um, let's see. Um, there we go. 1926. And I'll flip through this one. Hmm. 
Okay. I wonder if I still have my little wooden shoes from when I was little. And then this last one is um, Nursery Friends from France. You can see it has the most damage staining on the um, cover. And this one's 1927. Flip through through here. Oh, look. That's nice. I don't remember seeing music in the other ones. I'll have to look. I see much more music in this one. Oh, I like this one best. It looks much more fun than the other two. Okay, cool. All right, so a few more, and then we'll be done with this uh, this video. So this one, I don't, I haven't looked up about this book, but um, this is called A Small Bird Singing, and it is signed by the author Anna Bird Stewart, and let me see if I can find the. Um, Okay, here we go. It's 1940. That's a cute little tiny hardback. And then this one is a little paperback, numbers and numerals. And um, it's put out by the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics in DC. And when was this printed? Okay, here we go. This was printed in 1958. And it's just a little just a little book on math. Math history looks like. I haven't really looked through it. <laughs> okay. And this, the cover, is in terrible condition, but I think this pairs with the Adam book a little bit, so, because it's a giant golden book, about the same size as the Adam book, but once you get on the inside, it's, um, it's uh, really in good condition, it looks nice. Okay, so this is the Golden Book of Astronomy, A Child's Introduction to the Wonders of Space, and it was made, uh, printed by Simon and, uh, bleh. it was printed by Simon and Schuster, and the copyright on this is 1955. It's a shame about the outside cover, but the inside... Looks really cool, looks really good. I like it. This is awesome. Super awesome. Okay, I have uh, two more old books. Oh, and one funny one. Let's do one funny one. <laughs> I'm not going to flip through this, but the Playboy cartoon album. And I don't remember a date on this. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is awesome, because I do collect old things like this. So, it uh, looks like this one was published in 1969. How cool is that? I'll show this picture. Is it just me, or have you sensed a pagan revival? in this country recently. <laughs> Perfect! Perfect picture. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't even see that before now. Okay, two more old books and then uh, 
Then we'll wrap this one up. Okay, two more books. This one is called What Actors Eat When They Eat. So... Um, I think this one was also signed by the author. And this one is copyright 1939. There's a little print on it. And let's see what they have to say. Gentlemen prefer girls who know how to cook, whether they be blonde, brunette, or Titian. Really? Hmm. Or Titian? Am I not understanding something? Well, 1939. Let's see. Of course, these are these are two men. These are two men that know how women should eat and be pleasing. Okay, let's look. Hmm. Some of the foods. Interesting. So it'll be interesting to look through. Okay, and then this one is kind of protected by these boards. And it is, let me pull back so you can kind of see. Yeah, the full effect of it. It is an atlas. And it is in German. And it is from 1844. So I'll show you about the thickness of it. And I'll turn a few pages. Carefully. So you can kind of see how the pages look. Look at North America. This is where they were coming in 1844. <laughs> Look quite different than it. So interesting. Hmm. South America. This is so cool. Okay, well, I'm going to shut this one. And that's going to do it, everybody. That's going to be the last one I'm going to share tonight. I hope everybody's having a great week so far. And I thank you for joining me as always. And I wish you many blessings. 
and let me know if you want to see more because there certainly is more and I'm not even showing you a fraction of it so I'm not going to make my channel all about this but I am willing to do one more for now if, it, if, if enough people are interested and other than that I'll get back to my normal sorts of videos <laughs> alright uh, I'll see y'all soon and I wish you many blessings night